Hey guys, now I'm gonna give it back here for the video, guys. Today, I want to talk about some Madden 23 because this is a problem that I never thought I'd see in Madden, and it's really simply the fact that this game at this point is kind of just getting boring slash you know pointless. And I, I hate to say that, but it's like because EA Sports has done so 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 good of a job here i'm gonna go ahead and give them uh credit when well, let's see i see real fast if this is a snipe hold up hold up 13k we'll take that we'll go ahead and post it back up for like 17k um because they've done such a great job this year of uh, making sure that you can't get levels done quickly you have to wait for levels to get done through daily objectives slash uh, objective list there's really nothing to grind for in this game anymore like after a solo town sequence comes out and tomorrow we're gonna have solos come out for um for the brand new all madden 2 promo after those guys come out there's nothing really after you get done those solos you get tony saragusa there's nothing to grind for until either the next competitive pass comes out or another promo comes out and it kind of sucks because this is like the first Madden where this is actually a thing. Every Madden, you know, even last year's Madden, which was already god awful, where you could only do the same solo <coughs> four different times uh, for it to count XP, at least doing solos, other solos you had, or playing online, or doing something got you XP to grind out your levels. Like, I'm level 36, I want to be maxed out levels. But no matter what I do, I cannot max out my levels. You know, EA has made it so that now, unless you are doing, you have a couple ways right now. If we go ahead and look at the season pass real fast. If you go to the season pass, the only way I can level up my account right now, because my competitive pass is done. So I have to either wait four days for new XP to drop with that competitive pass, which by the way, I got this done like uh, three or four days ago. So that even is counterintuitive because like four days ago, I got this done. So for the last four days, I already have, I've had this done for like a week and a half now, maybe two weeks. And then this one, the only way to get this up uh, and level up at all is either dailies, which a lot of people aren't even counting. Mine luckily are counting, but other than that, there's no other way for me to gain XP. Um, obviously this one to gain any kind of levels and it gets to a point now where it kind of just doesn't become fun like in the past it was like you know a race everyone raced to get to level 60 everyone raced to get to level 50 who was gonna be the first person to hit level 50 you know there was a huge thing on twitter about it people got excited about it it was like oh i want to get that whatever the top reward is i want to get that and everyone got excited about the concept of going for level 60. Nowadays, with how EA has made Madden and these field passes, it's almost pointless. It's almost like, you know what? I'll log in, do my daily objective, and that's what I've been doing. And then I just go play Modern Warfare. And I just go play a new Call of Duty. Because, like, it's getting to a point now where you're just making this game pointless. You're not going to play solo battles because solo battles last year gave you like crazy rewards. And I would say crazy, but they gave you packs. They gave you coins. It was nice. This year, first off, you don't get any rewards this year unless you complete the whole entire thing. Mutt champs, you do not get your rewards unless you complete the whole entire Mutt champs, which there you don't even get anything for. I've completed 25 games. I've never gotten packs. I've never gotten coins for that. Solo battles. I've done the whole entire solo battle sequences. And you, go, you guys can look at the rewards. The rewards are absolutely a joke. Um, and I've never gotten rewards for those either. So the only other thing to do with that is play head-to-head. -head. And head-to-head -head gives you... Now they actually give you trophy packs. They used to not, but they actually now give you trophy packs. Other than trophy packs, nothing. And even all of that, there's just no point. Like, I'm sitting here with a 91 overall squad, and I'm just like... What's the actual point to go ahead and just chill here with a 91 overall squad when in about a week or so, you know, we're going to have what the, um, we're going to be starting to talk about the Thanksgiving promo 
and we're gonna start talking about the blitz promo and all these other promos by the end of this month my whole entire 91 overall squad will probably be worth like one third of what it is now which is absolutely crazy in all honesty and again like i said it's not that bugs me that yes obviously madden is Madden. okay every year how Madden works is the game the players go down it's like a car market right the second you buy a card a car or a card you it automatically depreciates and it's that's not what's bugging me it's the point that even though yes i have a squad right now unless you want to play online and you just really get off playing online against people uh with you know the same exact ebook blitzes the same exact offensive plays nothing creative nothing original really the grinding part of this game is going and i hate that and you know trading priority packs they are out now they're back in the game tomorrow they were out of the game for a little bit gap packs last year was a fun way to make coins you could actually just open up gap packs watch some movies watch some videos and not really you kind of zone out and make coins they removed those they added them technically they didn't move them they added them back but they're no longer 500 coins now they're not even worth it to open and at the same time it used to be like you know you got a silver or better <sighs> Twenty four thousand cast on a snipe it used to be that you know at least you get a, you just get a silver or better and you get 500 coins you make coin that's my what nowadays i mean you open up that pack for 2400 your chance of losing is like 60 percent maybe 70 percent before it was like you're guaranteed to make your coins back and make profit i don't know it's just getting to a point now where it's just it's frustrating it's really just frustrating playing this game because like i would love to just grind out levels i would love to get you know different rewards and the whole point of the field pass the whole point of this they said was to keep content new and keep refreshing it other than just having the same old same old the whole entire year and what's really funny about that is they were talking about that with the season pass because if you remember the season pass is what the last year was on the level season the levels pass is what the big thing was last year that wasn't get refreshed so this year they were like oh we're gonna make sure that we're gonna change that up and no longer are you gonna have to have the same awards the whole entire year it's the same thing as last year the season pass is no different than last year the only difference is you can't grind out levels quick it sucks it really really does suck so again this is just my video i guess kind of complaining in a way i don't want to complain too much in videos but it's just like i kind of don't want to give your thoughts and opinions down below guys because it's getting to a point it's just boring it's really just boring and it's getting to a point now it's like unless you want to play online you can't even grind this game and sniping yes is still a thing and thank god that's still a thing but you know what are you gonna do with all your coins <laughs> in all honesty like you buy the same players everyone's gonna have the same oh no sorry not everyone's on the same team you buy these players but there's nothing to grind for there's nothing to get rewarded for playing head to head so it's not like you're getting anything back i don't know maybe i'm just give my two cents and that's a snipe right there we got two snipes this video but yeah anyway though guys again like i said i'm not trying to make this video depressing or upsetting or you know bring down your day or your mood but it's just kind of disappointing you know and i'll be honest i'm probably gonna end up selling my team because i like my squad i like the god squad but it's getting to a point now it's like i'd rather just rock a budget squad and have fun rocking a budget squad then rock a god squad and really just not get rewarded for having a god squad because you can have a budget squad in this game and easily destroy 90 percent of people in this game i've done it many times with budget squads it's not hard to do so definitely tell me down below guys your thoughts and opinions um love to hear it and i'll see you guys in the next one please